Hey guys, it's Brian. We're back here with the Frostbite JL. Today we're going to be installing a new part on it. We've got a new front drive shaft, so let's check it out. All right, so this is an Adams drive shaft. It's a 1310 double carden. So it's got the two U-joints down on the transfer case end, and then it's got an OEM flange style on the axle end. So we're going to add that to the Jeep today. That should add some uh, extra uh, strength up front, and then it'll also give us some clearance on the exhaust cross member. So let's get that installed. All right, let's go over what's in the box. You're gonna get a hardware baggie with some red Loctite, and then you're gonna get your output shaft flange. This is for the transfer case end. And then they packed this real well, and they must have made this to order because it's still a little tacky on the paint. But yeah, they got this in there real good. I like how they packed it and it is greasable as well and they also it looks like they did a pretty good job balancing it too so we shouldn't have any vibrations so let's go ahead and we'll uh, go over what we need to throw that in the jeep and get this guy installed all right so let's go over some of the things you'll need you'll need a torque wrench some extensions for your impact you'll need a torx 50 to get the factory bolts off you'll need a 12.8 millimeter or 5 16 to put these new bolts on and then you'll need a 15 for the axle end for the factory bolts we will be reusing those and then you'll need a various uh assortment of extensions to try to reach in there get those uh t50 bolts on the factory set up at the transfer case those are kind of hard to reach and then your torque wrench torque it all up when you're done and then you'll want your uh, red loctite you'll loctite everything and then you'll put a uh, black rtv on the bolt at the transfer case all right so let's go ahead and we'll tear into this all right so this is where you're going to get those t50s on the factory shaft you want to leave your transfer case in two-wheel drive so you're able to spin it you'll loosen all these guys and then we'll go down and we'll do that end there so you're going to want to use quite a long extension to get all the way down in there so let's get these guys off and then we'll unhook the front. Alright, so that was the last bolt, so you should be able to pull this guy right out and then you'll have access to the nut to remove your pinion flange. So we're going to go ahead and take it off on the axle end and we'll get this old shaft out of the way. Alright, so now we're going to take these 15 millimeter bolts off here and then we should be able to pull this drive shaft free. So let's go ahead and pull those off with a wobble socket. Once you pull this last one out, it's going to come right out. There's nothing holding it up there. All right, 
So now we're gonna pull that last bolt out and then the drive shaft should be free. Be careful to not drop it on you. That comes right out. And then we'll pull the whole shaft out and we'll go ahead and compare this to the new one that we're putting in. All right, so this is the old factory shaft next to our new Adams drive shaft. You can see there's quite a big difference in diameter. So this will have a lot better clearance on that cross member and that exhaust piece. And then it's also got a double carton joint here, U-joint. So that'll eliminate any vibrations once you get those nice and straight. And those are a lot beefier joints than what you get on these, these Zeppa joints here. They do wear out when they're at extreme angles when you have a lift. And then normally that exhaust will hit here that'll go ahead and melt that and then you'll have oil all over the place and then it fails. So that's where the benefit of the new drive shaft comes in. So let's go ahead and get that installed. All right, so let's just give you a better look here. That's the inch and quarter nut we're gonna need to take off to get the factory output shaft flange off. So we'll go ahead and we'll pull that. You'll, we'll need quite a big socket and then we'll, we'll use the big impact and those extensions again. Once we get that loose, we can knock it off and then get our new 1310 joint on. Flange. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and hammer off that inch and quarter nut. Make sure you put it in four wheel drive so this doesn't spin. So now we got to go ahead and tap off that output flange. And this might take a little persuasion with the hammer and extensions or some kind of some kind of punch to go ahead and get that off. All right. So now that you go ahead and you get that pounded loose, you can just slide that factory sh uh, output shaft flange off and then we'll go ahead and replace that with the uh, atom shaft all right so here's the factory uh, transfer case flange and this is compared to the atoms 1310 flange and I went ahead and went and put some ATF on there just so it's lubed up a little so when we slide it in we're not messing with the seals and then now I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna put some RTV all over the nut so we got a nice seal, nothing leaks. And then we'll go ahead and we'll red Loctite this. And we'll go ahead and get that new piece put on. All right, make sure you use a good amount of red Loctite. You don't want any of this drivetrain stuff coming loose. So now we're gonna go ahead and we'll put the Adams output shaft flange on there. And you wanna make sure that seat's good. All right, I'm gonna take that inch and that quarter nut We'll go ahead and get that guy tightened down and that gets torqued to 166 foot pounds and then we can get the shaft in. All right, now that that's torqued to 166 foot pounds, we can go ahead and uh, get the new shaft and we'll get that bolted in. Now that should be spinning freely again for us. Yep. All right, then we're gonna make sure we go ahead and we put lots of red Loctite on the supplied hardware for the transfer case end to go into our new flange. So now we'll go ahead and we'll line this guy up and we'll put in those bolts. Helps to have an extra set of hands, kind of hold the drive shaft up. And then we'll go ahead and connect it to the axle. Now you go ahead and line up those flanges and you can telescope the drive shaft into position and then you can get some of your bolts started. All right, go ahead and start a couple of these, just kind of thread them in. 
get them kind of snug and then we'll hook up with the axle side and then we'll come back and we'll torque them all down. All right, now that it's tightened up at the transfer case, we're gonna go ahead and tighten these guys up at the axle. Use your uh, factory hardware again with some red Loctite on it. And these get torqued to 89 foot pounds. And then we'll be all done. down to 89 foot pounds and then we should be all done with the install i'll come back and give you guys a review on it and we'll uh we'll go over my initial impressions about how i like it all right thanks guys all right and that's what she's gonna look like all finished up looks pretty good we'll go ahead and get everything snug back up and then we'll we'll go ahead and finish up the install here for you guys all right, guys, that's going to wrap it up pretty much for the install. We're going to go ahead and take a look at the new Adams drive shaft under the Jeep, and then I'll go over my initial impressions with you. All right, there's the new output flange and the double carton joint. The new slip yoke. And then there's the new mounting surface for you. It uses the OE style flange, so that's pretty easy. You just torque those up to 89. And then I got those uh, little eight millimeters about as tight as I could with a couple wrenches, real snug, and I got the red Loctite on there. So it looks real good underneath here. Should give us plenty of clearance for the cross member here and the exhaust pipe when we're off-roading. And when we got the new lift on, it's gonna give us a lot more flex. So should be a nice heavy duty option and it should last for years to come. All right guys, so we're all done. As you see, we got rid of the, the large, bulky, old factory drive shaft. And we got that new, smaller, stronger Adams drive shaft. It's a 1310 double carton drive shaft. You know, I'm pretty happy with it. It looks pretty good. We'll see how it does on the highway, make sure I don't have any vibrations or anything, but it was painted up real nice and they were nice enough to even send me a shirt, which was pretty cool. Got it dirty already, but. Go ahead and stay tuned. I'll be doing a review here in a week or so. Right, and don't forget to follow the channel, subscribe, like the video, and stay tuned. We're going to be doing a bigger lift and uh, probably some bigger tires here pretty soon. And we also got a surprise for the front end. We'll be changing that up as well. All right. Thanks, guys.